said, Megan's brother, George Megan, was the video director. Günaydın. Günaydın. <gülüyor> ee, so, hayır, İslamsi. Ee, e, i̇yisini, iyisiniz umarım. Teşekkürler, çok iyiyim. Siz iyi misin Sayın Başkan? Sağ olun, çok teşekkür ediyoruz. Çok memnun oldum sizi gördüm. Aynı şekilde, aynı şekilde Sayın Büyükelçi. Evet. Ben hazırım, sizler ne zaman evet derseniz... E, ben sizlere göre tabi olacağım. Okay, bir kere iş noktam. Yeah, good morning. We still have a couple of minutes. No problem. Yeah, so not use our time. Uh, so why I can tell you that uh, uh, there is a direct translation uh, uh, by the institute. Uh, for the development of informational societies here. Many people uh, just look uh, this uh, direct translation from the institute uh, without uh, entering the, the Zoom platform. Okay. So I, I, I think that this experience uh, organizing the conferences online will continue even after pandemic because uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's an efficient way to interact and to discuss uh, well, uh, scientific issues and uh, not only scientific. Okay. So in Moldova we have uh, 9.59, 1 minute to 10, 1 minute to 10. I mean, in Turkey, in one hour ahead, so I we are uh, yeah, it's, uh, about 11. I see. <laughs> okay. So how many members of the academy? I mean, how many members of the uh, academy? How, how many members of the academy? We have now 70. Uh, not, so say again? 70 members of the Academy of Sciences of Moldova. Okay. Academicians and member correspondents. Okay. So. Uh, good morning. Let's start our event related to a public lecture. Dear Professor Hassan Mandal, President of Tubitak, Excellency Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of Moldova to Turkey, Mr. Dmitry Kroyetor, Dear Dr. Habilitate Olga Tagadiuk, General Director of the National Agency for Research and Development. Dear members of the Academy of Sciences of Moldova, dear rectors, directors, dear researchers. I would like to welcome Professor Hassan Mandal to the Academy of Sciences of Moldova this time through the virtual space due to the pandemic situation hoping that we will have possibilities in the near future to welcome him here in the real space. And, of course, to thank him for the very kind agreement to present today the public lecture co-creating for positive impact based on science, technology, innovation and collaboration with Moldova. Let me say a few words about the career of Professor Mandel. Professor Mandel received his bachelor's degree from the Department of Metallurgical Engineering at Middle East Technical University as an honor student in 1990. 
87, and his PhD degree from Newcastle University, United Kingdom, in 1992. He completed his postdoctoral studies at Newcastle University, United Kingdom, during 1992-1994, and at Karlsruhe University, Germany, in 1997. 1998. In 1994, he started his academic career as an, as an assistant professor in the Department of Ceramic Engineering at Anadolu University. He achieved associate professor status in 1996 and tenured professor status in 2001. Professor Hassan Mandel has more than 140 published studies. Half of them are published in Web of Science journals as well as six international patents. Professor Hassan Mandel has been granted various national and international awards, including the Tubitak Science Award. He is currently a member of the Turkish Academy of Science, World Academy of Ceramics, and Academy of Europe. Professor Hassan Mandel served as the Director of Research and Graduate Policies from 2011 to 2015, being point Vice Rector of Sabancy University in January 2012. He also served as the President of the Global Engineering Dean's Council, the first Vice President of the International Federation of Engineering Education Societies, the President of European Ceramic Society, the Vice President of Anadolu University and the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Architecture of Anadolu University, the Chairperson of the Turkish Engineering Dean's Council, Board Member in two Technoparks, Board Member in Innovant Innovative Ventures, Board Member in Boring Executive Board Member at Tubitax Technology Transfer Mechanism Support Group and Tubitax Engineering Research Group. Professor Hassan Mandal was elected to the Executive Board of Council of Higher Education in 2015 and as the Deputy Chairman of the Council of Higher Education on July 21, 2016. Professor Hassan Mandal served in this position until January 2018. He was assigned as the President of Tubitak on February 22, 2018. Professor Hassan Mandel was appointed as a member of the Science, Technology and Innovation Policy Council in October 2018, and he has assumed the duty of active president on November 1, 2018. He was elected as the board member of the Council of Higher Education on April 27, 2019. Dear Professor Mandel, on behalf of the Presidium of the Academy of Sciences of Moldova, and of the scientific community of Moldova, I wish you much success in your multilateral activities. Being convinced that the scientific collaborative bridges between researchers from the Republic of Moldova and Turkey will strengthen in the coming years. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me pass on the floor to Mr. Dmitry Kroitor, the Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Moldova to the Republic of Turkey. Please, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Dear Academician Professor Ivan Tigineanu, dear President of Tubitak, Professor Dr. Hassan Mandal, dear General Director Mrs. Olga Tagadiuk, Honored guests and distinguished representatives of the scientific community. Sunt onorat să particip astăzi la acest eveniment de o importanță majoră pentru relațiile de prietenie și colaborare între Republica Moldova și Republica Turcia în domeniul științific desfășurat în premieră în spațiul virtual al Republicii Moldova. În calitate mea de ambasador al Republicii Moldova în Republica Turcia, am o deosebită plăcere să îl salut la acest eveniment pe un partener de încredere al Moldovei și un prieten drag sufletului, Dr. Hasan Mandal, președintele Tubita. Moldova Junghiretin, Turcia Junghiretin, Gâiti Cisolara, bu etkinlikle Moldova'nın güvenilir bir orta ve değerli bir dostumu, Tubita Başkanı Sayın Dr. Hasan Mandal'ı selamlamaktan Büyük mutluluk duyarım. The bilateral relations of 
collaboration between the Republic of Moldova and the Republic of Turkey are at the highest level, strategic partnership, and are stronger today than ever. This year, we have decided to enhance our collaboration, including in research and development area, and I am recalling with deep satisfaction the official visit to Ankara of a delegation headed by Mrs. Olga Tagadiu, General Director of the National Agency for Research and Development from the Republic of Moldova, which took place last month. Over the last years, the Republic of Turkey is achieving remarkable result, results in research and development area, becoming a global leader in medical researches, defense industry technologies, having an advanced innovation ecosystem and special incentives for research and development activities. In this respect, I am honored to participate today at this event of a high importance for the scientific community from the Republic of Moldova. And I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Professor Hassan, Hassan Mandal, Mandal for accepting our invitation to participate at this event in order to share Turkish experience and talk about TUBITAC achievements. We highly cherish our relations on collaboration with TUBITAC and we are always happy to co-create together in implementing joint initiatives Thank which are beneficial to both countries and people who are so devoted to innovate and discover new realms of knowledge. I wish you all success and productive discussions. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give the floor to Professor Olga Tagadiuk, General Director of the National Agency for Research and Development. Please, you have the floor. Your Excellency, Ambassador of Republic of Moldova in Republic of Turkey, Mr. Dmitry Koryvitoru, uh, dear Mr. President of Science, Technology and Innovation Policy Council of Turkey, Tubitak, Professor Hassan Mandal, uh, Mr. President of Moldova Academy of Science Academician, Professor Ion Tigineanu, honored participant at the public lecture co-creating for positive impact based on science, technology and innovation and collaboration with Moldova. Today's event completes a series of public lectures organized by the Academy of Science of Moldova with the aim to rise the prestige of research in society, but also to increase the awareness of population and decision makers of the impact of science on socio-economic development. Only countries which development was science-based have reached a high economic and social level, thus clearly demonstrating the role of research for the progress of society. Currently, scientific research is not only interdisciplinary, but also international. Only through joint efforts of researchers from different countries does humanity meet the challenges of the millennium. In this aspect, Professor Hassan Mandal lecture is of major importance, depicting how science, technology, innovation and collaboration between countries contributes to the development of each country but also of research and society at regional and global level, but also acting yes. in common efforts to fight the pandemic that we are facing today. I want to express my deepest gratitude to Professor Hassan Mandal for his involvement and contribution to the initiation of this extremely fruitful collaboration between the Republic of Turkey and Moldova research communities and institutions, and for his openness to share Turkey's and Tubitak experience with us today by presenting this public lecture on very important topic for the whole community uh, of research in Moldova. Thank you very much. And I wish all the participants a very fruitful event. Thank you. Thank you. 
So, uh, dear Professor Landau, with a great pleasure uh, and with thanks, I give you the floor for your, your presentation. And of course, after the presentation, we will come with some questions. So, okay. you have thank the floor. Thank you. So, thank you very much. So, um, dear uh, Professor Ion uh, Tignano, uh, as the uh, president of the um, Academy of Science of Moldova, uh, and dear Excellency um, Dimitri uh, Kroitor uh, is the uh, ambassador of Moldova uh, in, in, in Turkey, and also uh, Mrs. Um, Professor Olga Tagadiuc um, uh, is the uh, general director of Moldova Research Development uh, Research and Development Agency, uh, NARD, uh, and dear um, distinguished participants. Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, so it's a great pleasure for me to be, I mean, attend one of the, your series of the public lectures. I am really honored, and in this respect, I thank the president of the Academy and also um, the general director, and especially to Excellence Ambassador. I mean, uh, although we have been started in uh, our close collaboration starting from year 2019, but uh, even though uh, all the challenges, um, I mean, like pandemic, uh, but we have been moving very forward, very quickly. So, and especially for my personal, personally, and also institutionally, we see, um, I mean, Moldova and Moldovian researchers are close friends and strategic partners. So today I am going to be, I mean, share some of the, our experience uh, of, of Turkey as, an, uh, as one of the main funding agency, uh, which is Tubitak. Uh, so, and uh, I am now moving to do my um, sharing my screen. Okay. So I put the, um, I mean, uh, title. I mean, it has been mentioned uh, also by Excellence Ambassador that co-creating. So, I mean, I think this is, a, I am sure that as a, uh, as, as a research community, this, um, I mean, this wording of co-creation is becoming more popular. I mean, more, I think the importance is more than the popular, is how it's going to be more impact of this co-creation. And when we are talking about, uh, um, I mean, especially uh, one of the, I mean, our joint um, uh, understanding in terms of as a mem uh, associate member or candidate member for the European uh, Commission and also Horizon 2020 programs. So, I mean, this wording is becoming so important and especially starting from the next year, year 2021, is the Horizon Europe is the main, um, I mean, uh, change is to work on the missions, I mean, the challenges and missions, and how it is possible is overcome uh, with, the, with the missions is by means of the cooperation. So in that respect, I want to share with our uh, experience on cooperation for positive impact based on science, technology, and innovation, and how we can do together with, with Moldova. Um, so once more, I thank you very much for the, for the Academy, for the invitation. Um, I mean, in, in, in, in, in globally, uh, and especially in the European side, when we check, so why we need to do um, co-creation? Um, I mean, in one side, for, I mean, the knowledge creation, so the knowledge creation is changing from linear to reiterative type of innovation. So which means that the role of the knowledge creator, mainly universities, is not finished when they uh, transfer this knowledge to the user. I mean, unless this knowledge is, is, is it has been used and get the results in an impact way, uh, still the re reiteration will continue, which means that it's a kind of a reversible um, uh, communication. Um, and in, again, uh, the type of challenges which we are facing, like COVID pandemic, COVID-19, is not only a technological issue, it's a kind of a challenge 
which included uh, many disciplines. So it is not only in one side, maybe it's the health sciences, in and then another side, maybe engineering sciences, basic science, but not limited. So it's also including the social science and humanities. So, and this type of challenges will definitely will continue in the future. So, and also the European Commission will take in Horizon Europe. So again, the same respect to missions means that the systematic challenge-driven innovation is needed. So in that respect, so type of um, collaboration is moving to the co-creation. In the case of the collaboration, so each partner has their own role. And if this, their own role has been succeed, which means that the result will be uh, uh, uh, successful as well, but not in practice. So in that respect, so the, the system is checking whether is a uh, succeed the, uh, the, the uh, I mean, whatever we are aiming, it is a challenge and it is uh, having a right impact, then yes, this is a successful uh, collaboration. So which means that uh, not, I mean, if only if they, each partner is doing their role, their own role, but there is no succeed, uh, which, so which means that still under discussion. So it's still the challenges continue, like what we're having in the pandemic. So in this respect, the so-called creation is becoming more important and is also be changing to be a, rather than a, a kind of a, a short term, is going to be a kind of a culture. Um, so looking for the, I mean, Turkey, um, um, <clears throat> sorry, um, I mean, so this is some type of figures, I mean, uh, in terms of research and development uh, related type of issues. So one parameter is the uh, percentage of R&D expenditure per GDP, I mean, has been now reached to 1.06 end of year 2019. And uh, still it is, um, I mean, we are moving ahead. Our target in year 2023, so which is 100 years of uh, Turkish Republic, is aimed for 1.8. So now there is a lot of, um, I mean, um, um, investment uh, is coming from the government for R&D. And for example, our budget for Tubita has been doubled for year 2020, uh, 2021. So it's a good sign for, for uh, funding the science and technology and innovation. And it's another also good sign is, is the R&D, share of R&D expenditure. So it has been reached to 64%. Uh, by the industry. So this is also another kind of, I think, sign that uh, uh, is, is the type of innovation, knowledge creation is transferred to the industry. So this is also, I think, is one of the important parameters. And uh, in terms of the human capacity and um, uh, for, the, for the research, uh, and again, in the same respect, 62.8% uh, uh, is employed by the, uh, by the industry. So an aim is to reach it to two-thirds, so which is about 67% in year 2023, uh, uh, I mean, the accomplished by the, by the industry. So these are the type of figures in Turkey in terms of the R&D statistics. So the role of Tubitak, which I am, uh, I mean, uh, uh, chairing this institution, it was founded in uh, 1963, uh, so it is we are celebrated uh, our 57th anniversary for this year. And uh, our role, we are the main funding agency, uh, so funding the universities, funding the companies, funding individuals as a fellows, and um, uh, and funding uh, the I mean schools as well. I mean primary schools, high schools, middle middle schools. Um, and universities uh, in a sense of increasing the science and technology awareness. Uh, and in the other part as well, we are um, an institution representing Turkey in international global arena on science, technology and innovation. And at the meantime, uh, one of the maybe a kind of a, uh, another function, we are also uh, doing research. Uh, so the research um, on now currently on 23 institutes uh, in four cities in Turkey, nearly I mean um, 4,600 research personnel, and we are 
not competing with universities and not for the industry. We are like in bridge, so we are doing a more applied research on surgical areas. Areas on space, uh, I mean, areas like in defense, uh, IT technologies, I mean, the, the drug development, vaccine development. So these are, um, I mean, more than the basic science, we are doing more applied and transferring to the industry. <clears throat> and so the, the change, uh, I mean, uh, all candidate or associate countries like Moldova and Turkey is normally assumed to be, uh, I mean, a, a kind of a follower of the, I mean, the big uh, game players. Um, but starting from 2018, at least, uh, from, from our institution, from Tubitax side, we have been changed our policy. I mean, till that time, we have been uh, our uh, methodology uh, for the funding for create the potentials. Create the potentials in the university, in industry. So which means that we are funding the research more uh, potential oriented, which is more input oriented. But starting from 2018, we changed our funding mechanism. Uh, so the, the, the change means in terms of to concentrate more on outcomes and impact. And the impact on economical impact, uh, societal impact and national security impact, other than the defense. So these are the type of issues that when we are dealing with the project, even on basic science projects, of course we are keeping the frontier research, but also looking for what type of impact which we are expecting for. And in that case, so we need to be um, change also funding mechanism. Funding mechanism for new knowledge creation methods, and also new human resources capacity building methods. And all these are by means of the co-creation. So what does it mean? So in here, maybe you can see type of, different type of funding programs. And in here, co-creation based new knowledge, uh, which means that, I mean, in the past, we have been more concentration on funding the projects. I mean, we have been many projects, um, I mean, si compared to the size of the country. Uh, I mean, we are funding the universities and industries, so it is many projects, but uh, we are shifting more to funding the platforms. Platforms are either knowledge creation, technology development, or product development. So the platform means, the, within the platform, many projects is included. But we are, um, I mean, evaluating the platform, we are funding the platform, and we are following the uh, outcomes of the platform. So the platform is decide which project is going to be studied, and which project is going to be funded within the uh, platform. So this is giving a kind of a role of, as a funding agency of Tubitak. So following uh, the, uh, I mean, in each time, number of projects, so we are following the uh, number of uh, outcomes and impacts. So, and in that platforms, we bring university, university, university, industry, industry, industry type of partnerships. And also within these partnerships, also international, um, uh, I mean, institutions, of course, including the Moldovia, could also be included in our platforms. In the next slide, I'll share which type of, which subject uh, of the platforms which currently be uh, studied. Uh, even maybe I can do in, in here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so these are the type of platforms or subjects in the platform which we are studying. So they are mainly for high technology areas either on medical side uh, or life sciences or uh, IT technologies or the aerospace um, and sp space, so type of, uh, um, uh, type of areas, aircraft. Uh, so these are the type of uh, high technology areas. So, and the international partners also be invited uh, to, to join these platforms. Um, and also in the left hand side in corner, so you can see also different type of programs, I mean the supporting the patent based technology transfer, patent license program. So in that case, the Tubitak is the funding agency. So we bring the university and industry, and normally industry is going to be paid the license fee to the university. 
but still there is not enough ecosystem in Turkey, and I am sure in Moldova as well. So what we are doing as the funding agency, so, so the amount of the, the, the budget is going to be paid by company to university, up to 75% of it is paid by us. So this is giving a, a kind of a win-win situation. So because companies still early stage to say that, okay, not confident about the transfer of this technology. So we are, I mean, motivating the company saying that up to 75% of the expense is going to be paid normally to university, is paid by the, our funding agency. So end of today, we want to see the knowledge is going to be, uh, is used in, in, in the company. And also the SME support for the demand-based R&D project. In that case, we put the, the SME is the uh, technology provider, and another SME or big company is technology user. So they are coming together, 40% by the big, by the technology user, 40% by Tubitak, and the 20% by the uh, technology provider is sharing the the risk. So so this is another. But these are all co-creation. And in the, in the case of the human capacity programs, so, I mean, either we are inviting the, the best scientists and outstanding researchers to come to Turkey, or, I mean, again, by co-creation, uh, university industry type of fellowship program. So, and which we think that, I mean, I think quite innovative in global sense, because this funding program for industrial PhD is not limited during the PhD time, and also including three years during the uh, employment stage. So, which giving can uh, confidence again for the student, so they have an employment uh, guarantee or company, so it is not only giving the funding, uh, I mean, not supporting the program uh, during the PhD, also getting the uh, employee, and also for the university is a tech kind of a technology transfer. So it's a win-win-win. So this I am already we shared these platforms, and this is for outstanding researchers. We have been just started this program uh, in the year 2019, uh, and 127 outstanding researchers. So that you can see them. Um, I mean, so these about uh, 95 or them is a Turkish origin, and the others are non-Turkish. And some of them, I mean, but the, the criteria which we are looking for is should be one of the top 100 universities list um, in terms of the employment uh, stage of this, um, I mean, researchers which they are coming from. But we are giving a very highly motivated salary uh, and different type of incentives. And another program will be, um, I mean, second call will be announced this month again. So another 100 outstanding researchers will come in this program. So again, I have been already mentioned on industrial PhD program, including the employment stage. Uh, so this is one of the I think is important. And and uh, and comparing the, I mean, this uh, COVID-19. So I mean, how this co-creation is whether working or not. So indeed, it's a very crowded um, transparency in here. But in this transparency, we are saying that the co-creation is working. In terms of, I mean, now we are funding a platform of COVID-19 Turkey, and within this platform, 17 projects. And uh, in within this uh, them, um, I mean, um, uh, seven of uh, them are vaccine projects, different type of vaccines, and uh, ten of them the drug development and the uh, other treatment techniques. Um, so 436 researchers under one umbrella, uh, so which they are working, um, and they are using the same infrastructure. I mean, 49 different institutions either university, company, or the, uh, the government state uh, research institute, they are using the same infrastructure, especially the BSL-3 type of labs, the, the animal tests, and also using the, I mean, um, uh, consumable transfers, uh, especially in the pandemic, it's not that easy to get it, um, and the human uh, resources, um, and also GMP laboratory, uh, laboratories, GMP laboratories. Um, and within this 436, 300 of them young researchers, including the bachelor degree students, and uh, I mean master students, PhD students, and postdocs. And also um, another funding program of this platform is funding the SMEs, and also in the other side, top 
uh, uh, right hand side corner, we are also funding with, by means of this platform uh, social and human and economical impacts of the pandemic. So one of the projects is running and also entrepreneurship uh, type of programs and also um, we are all uh, results are uh, virtually available and uh, transparent available um, on, on, on the websites. So this is a kind of a way that I mean what I'm trying to say. Uh, so in this case, different type of disciplines are coming together. Different type of institutions, I mean uh, state, private and universities. And also in terms of the, the human capacity, bachelor of students till professional researchers. And yes, so this is the, I mean, a kind of a, um, uh, I mean, way, uh, 32 universities, uh, private six, uh, eight companies, and uh, nine public R&D units, they are all working together. And uh, so these are um, also type of areas, as Turkey put for ahead. I mean, after the pandemic, we will work on these areas more as, as, as, as a funding agency. Because during the pandemic, what we have been learned, biosecurity is becoming more and more important in the future. And food supply security, again, especially during the pandemic, is becoming more important. And then another one is the, we are all using the digital um, uh, I mean, um, instruments, so the cyber security is becoming more important. So these three areas, which not used to be in top priority in Turkey, is becoming a more important um, I mean, uh, with, uh, with pandemic. And also drug and vaccine development and medical equipment side, also we will put more efforts. And regarding TÜBİTAK, uh, we are now collaborating with uh, 62 countries with 88 institutions. And within the 62 countries, and one of them is, is, is the Moldova. And uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, there are different type of mechanisms which we are working. And, uh, but we are also, uh, especially with our strategic partners, we are trying to be more co-creation and impact together type of programs. And we see the Moldova is one of the uh, strategic partners. And in that respect, I mean, we have been just uh, started. Um, I mean, uh, in, we have been signed an agreement in the year 2019. And we open a call, and within uh, this call with, uh, with NARD, uh, and we have been received 21 projects, and we have been agreed um, uh, together uh, three projects, uh, joint the three projects, um, uh, and we have already been funding mechanism has already been started. And we thank very much to the ambassador especially, and also the general director, I mean, which they have been visited us uh, a month, nearly a month ago, and uh, the partners from the Moldovian side and the Turkey side, they come together at, in, at Tuvita headquarters, and we also make the face-to-face uh, -face discussions. And now this is a Tuvita Moldovia Research and Development Agency bilateral cooperation call, and uh, our acronym uh, the the is uh, two five three O projects. I mean, in Turkey, two five three O means that Turkish Moldovian uh, collaboration research project. And these are from that time, from uh, exactly uh, nearly a month ago, 10th to 11th of November. So, I mean, um, uh, uh, I mean uh, the general director and uh, the delegation from Moldova, from universities, they all come together to Turkey. And um, so you are also very welcome as from the academy, academicians from the Academy of Science of Moldova, they are all welcome to Turkey. And also, not on the stay, um, I mean, what we have been uh, shared the experience, I mean, in terms of um, as the funding programs, and also at the meantime, some of the research uh, institutions, and one of them you can see in here the Space Institute. So, I mean, delegation visited the, um, the, the uh, I mean, Institute and also the Defense Institute, and some other institutions has been visited by, by the delegation. And um, I mean, when we are looking for the, I mean, the further for the potentials, uh, of course, we will be very happy to continue with the uh, uh, with the Moldova Research and Development Agency (NARD) uh, for funding the projects. But also, at the meantime, uh, we have been already been come together by means of the uh, Excellence Ambassador, uh, again by virtually others, um, I mean, stakeholders, other partners, 
of research ecosystem of Moldova, and one of the strong ones is the academy. So in that respect, also we would like to, I mean, uh, continue different type of potentials uh, to strengthen our collaboration with, um, I mean, Turkish researchers, academicians, with the Moldovan researchers and academicians. And uh, uh, so our, um, I mean, potentials for the, for the future, of course now joint bilateral calls for researchers will continue. Um, delegation visits also, I mean, uh, is always possible. Uh, but also in the meantime that the long term, I mean, we are looking for the long term collaboration. So the long term collaboration, I mean, either, I mean, um, I mean uh, by means of, the, especially from the academy side, so by means of the research institutes, I mean, uh, so, I mean, to working together, and also uh, by means of the uh, European Commission programs, because as both countries, uh, uh, as an uh, I mean, associate member for the European program, so in that respect, so we are, as from the Turkish side, we are ready to collaborate. Um, and uh, our experience, especially because Turkey has been joined starting from early 2000. We started from Framework Program 6, 7, and now in Horizon 2020. And 6 and 7, unfortunately, we have been only receiving, I mean, get back up to 60% or something uh, about the, the amount which we have been paid for the Commission. But this time, and especially during the last two years, we have been, uh, I mean, our success rate is quite high, and the Commission has already been acknowledged our success. And now, first time, uh, we have been received the amount of funded project budget is more than uh, the amount which we have been uh, paid to the Commission. And end of the program, which we are aiming for, 300 million euro uh, from the Horizon 2020 program. And in the past, we have been only involved in the European programs, only as the, as the partner, but now also we are the uh, coordinator. And only in the last two years, 18 projects are coordinated by the Turkish partners. So this is also giving a kind of an experience, and also you can see uh, the, the, the percentage, still 40% by the, by the companies, uh, and 34% by the universities, and we are trying to be put more companies into the system. Um, and, and our success, at least from our side, the, especially during the last two years, is due to more alignment with our national funding, pro national programs for funding, is more aligned with the European Commission programs. So in the past, we have been more uh, input oriented, but now we are more output and impact oriented, and therefore more alignment. So, and therefore uh, there's a more, um, in that respect, so we are getting more um, benefit from the European programs. And one of the, um, I mean, I think a potential area with the, including the Moldovian researchers. Um, uh, so we are putting out a lot of efforts for the, one of the last important calls of the Horizon 2020, which is the Green Deal. Um, and um, uh, it was already been open uh, in, in, in, in September until open uh, mid of uh, January, so another uh, two months, uh, so there's enough time. Uh, so I mean, there may be also another event can be organized between two countries. I mean, Tubita is the uh, contact point uh, of the Horizon programs. So we are always ready to come with the Moldovian researcher, especially on Green Deal, um, and uh, either from academic side or from industrial side. So, so it's for the development. And in also we have been, um, I mean, uh, already been organized for 34 different events. And one of them, of the, um, I mean, European Commission uh, uh, also has been uh, attended um, with the, and in that networking event, um, uh, and also, I mean, nearly more than one month ago, uh, 700 bilateral meetings uh, virtually have been performed. 900 researchers attended from the 42, nine, 42 countries. So this also gives a kind of an opportunity for the potential, and we see. Green Deal not only limited for the Horizon 2020, also for the Horizon Europe. And Turkey, Twitter are putting a lot of efforts, not due to the funding part, but also the policy part in Turkey. 
because Turkey is one of the countries that trying to be as a more industrialized country, so trying to change to our ecosystem more green issues. And because we know that in the year 2050, the, the, in Europe, I mean in Turkey and in Moldova, are committing that the, the, the, the, the emissions, carbon emissions, is going to be greenhouse gas emissions should be zero. And in year uh, 2030, is going to be 55%, should be reduced, while at the meantime the GDP is increasing. So it's a real challenge, and it's only we can come together um, only by, by the research and development, and it's only possible by the co-creation. Um, so, so these are the different types of mechanisms. We always very pleased to share our experience with the, with the, uh, with our Moldovian uh, uh, funding parts, either academy or for the, uh, for the NR, NR, NARD, in terms of how we are doing in terms of the success. Um, especially, I mean, so you can see, I don't want to go into details, how we are aligning our programs with the European Commission programs. Um, and so, as I said, for the, my first transparency, which I said, Horizon Europe is coming with the challenges. So, I mean, you can see the, some of the, the challenges names in here, there, and how it's possible co by co-creation. So, so, therefore, so this is a kind of a maybe joint understanding between two countries. When we are bringing our uh, colleagues together, uh, I mean, the universities, institutions, so, so therefore, it's not only funding the projects, so come together, deal with the different challenges, and uh, get a success together. And finally, I will also mention only with one transparency on the, what type of uh, research institutes available in Turkey, uh, especially for the uh, colleagues from Academia, um, from the Academy of Science of Moldova. So, I mean, we have been, uh, to, I mean, uh, uh, 23 institutes, so the Marma Research Center with eight institutes, um, I mean, information and uh, information security advanced technologies research center with another six institutes. So these are um, as a center, acting as a center. And the others, which you can see, space, Sagia is defense, the Rute is the, the, the, the, I mean, the railway transportation research uh, institute, metrology, uh, basic science, um, and also the National Observatory type of these are also institutes directly, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, coordinated by the, uh, by myself, and the others are uh, acting as a center, but altogether 23 institutes and more than 4,600 research personnel. So finally, uh, I mean, we see uh, uh, uh, Moldova is, uh, is a, uh, one of the strategic partners for Turkey, and in that respect, so the, for the, we need a future of co-creation to achieve a healthier and sustainable future. So thank you very much for your interest. Dear Professor Mandan, thank you uh, for this wonderful and very useful presentation. Uh, I uh, am sure that now uh, we have uh, the necessary information about the activities of your scientific community, about possibilities to develop uh, collaboration, and I would like uh, to um, underline that uh, uh, I'm really impressed by uh, the successes of your uh, uh, scientific community, uh, especially um, with the fact that you succeeded to um, win a lot of uh, grants from uh, um, uh, framework programs, uh, in particular uh, under the Horizon 2020 program, and uh, so you told that you go, uh, got already more money uh, uh, under uh, these grants than you pay to the European Commission for the participation in uh, the framework program. Uh, I uh, let me then uh, open the. Uh, the session of the, of the question discussions. Uh, so uh, I ask uh, um, my colleagues uh, who would like to uh, put a question. You just uh, uh, can uh, uh, uh, raise the, the hand. Uh, uh, the first question is related to a problem that we have here. 
So, uh, uh, for us in some fields, it's difficult to attract young people, and I would like to ask you to tell uh, uh, is a science attractive in Turkey? Uh, is the brain drain uh, a problem for you? Okay. I mean, yes, I mean, I think this is a kind of a, a very important question. Um, I mean, important question that uh, is always under discussion, because on one side, we are trying to be achieve the outcome and impact. And outcome and impact, which means that if it is a economical or kind of, so I mean, it's a more um, a issue of, um, I mean, I mean, for um, a, a, at least in Turkey, it's expected that uh, the, I mean, we want to see this uh, the science and technology should produce more welfare, uh, but in in short term. So, but the science is giving the answers in maybe not always in the short term. So, and sometimes, of course, challenges is also giving an opportunities. And during the pandemic, is uh, I mean the. Everybody in globally, and also, of course, including in Turkey, everybody understands that the science is more important. So, I mean, everybody now is working on, especially for the vaccine and drug development, how the science is important. And uh, especially like emerging countries, Moldova and Turkey. So, this type of challenges could be also kind of an opportunity. Because during this term, we have better communication with the government, with the communication, I mean, with the ecosystem, and therefore, in especially year 2021, during the budget uh, discussions with the parliament, we have been more, uh, I mean, uh, confident and more respected, and we get, as I said, nearly double uh, amount of, um, I mean, double amount of uh, budget compared to year 2020, and one of the reasons that because of that, the science is very, very important, and uh, so the amounts which they are spending for the science is definitely will be returned back. Maybe not in short term, but in the medium and long term. And especially this type of global challenges and the different type of problems can only be solved by the, uh, by the, by the, by the science. And in this respect, now we are putting a lot of efforts, the science is a kind of a communication. Uh, so the, the problem may be, uh, again for emerging countries, in, including Turkey at least, that the, the communication part unfortunately is not good enough. So the science for academia um, and for, uh, I mean, limited um, person, but now everybody talking about vaccine and drug in Turkey. They want to learn more and more. And it is, I mean, uh, in terms of type of technology, and also type of, I mean, whether safe or not, but so these are all science, science communication. So therefore, in one side, I mean, as academician, we have enjoyed to doing the science, but also the communication of science is also in the same respect. And especially for young generations, the science communication is becoming more and more important, and we are putting a lot of efforts, and you don't need to pay too much money for science communication. But it's only the agenda should be in, in. And second question is for the, um, I mean, brain drain. And uh, yes, indeed, Turkey is one of the countries that uh, uh, unfortunately is, is, is, is, is, is threatened by the brain drain. Uh, but uh, now we are putting uh, two programs. I mean, one program I already shared. Um, I mean, International Outstanding uh, Research Fellowship Program. And also now we are introducing a new program we are a new program, and in the new program, um, uh, we are, um, um, I mean, uh, because some of the Turkish very well known scientists, they still want to uh, stay in their home, in their uh, I mean, respected country, but they want to be contribute while they are staying there. So now we are standing, starting a new program, uh, while staying there, they, how can they um, help uh, Turkish research ecosystem in Turkey. So this is a kind of a new way. So, I mean, brain drain uh, is a maybe threat, but again, if it is managed properly, 
uh, it can be used also kind of a potential for the opportunity for further collaboration uh, with the respective countries. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I see here via chat um, a comment or question. Uh, so, Oksana Grosso, thank you very much for a very interesting lecture. Within the bilateral cooperation between Moldova and Turkey, it is intended to make a platform to find partners. Is it intended to make a platform for, to find partners? This type of platform, the platform will help to know each other and prepare to apply for projects. That means, uh, are you or we together uh, going to create such a platform to find partners, probably for uh, joint project applications? Yeah, I mean, and, uh, I mean, I think there is a two type of uh, maybe three. So number one is our bilateral cooperation will continue. And maybe, I mean, I am just thinking, um, I mean, uh, suddenly, I mean, uh, it, this is not it's planned with our bilateral uh, programs, but now we know that these uh, three bilateral projects, I mean, it's announced. I mean, the Turkish partners know, Moldovan partners know, and the name of the projects. But, I mean, I am, of course, the, the, the general director, I mean, will decide, of course, uh, as, as, as an, an, an NIRB. So, I mean, at this Turkish side, we can also open already funded projects to, to, to expand a platform. So, which means that another university or research institute can also join, why not? So, I mean, although we have started it bilaterally, but could we extend it? Uh, uh, I mean, a, a larger group, of course, we can give an extra funding at this from Turkey side, so we extend already being bilateral, maybe another, I mean, two plus two, I mean, two from Moldova yeah. and two plus Turkey or three plus, so I mean, so this could be one way. The second way, I mean, we, I mean, our platforms, already mean our national platforms, could be also, I mean, I mean, there are now uh, nine platforms is running on that topic which I have been shared. So, I mean, Moldovan colleagues can, we can ask, I mean, we can introduce uh, the, the, the chairperson of this platform, so they can also join. Uh, so these Turk are national platforms, big platforms. Uh, and the third one uh, is uh, by the European Commission programs. So, I mean, so, the, so this is, uh, Green Deal is one of them. So therefore, I mean, maybe to, we can, I mean, work together uh, with, with, with, with Moldovia. So, I mean, we can work on uh, what type of, I mean, uh, I mean, so we can, while we are going to be joining to uh, a platform of European Commission, and so we can also always think about our Moldovian researchers and Moldovian researchers when they are joining the, uh, one of the platforms of the European Commission, so they can also consider the, the, the, the Turkish partners. So these are all potential, but at least uh, one practical, as I mentioned, these three projects have already been funded, and this could be extended. Or next year when we open the call, we can also say, if again NIRB is agreed, so we can say, so not one, one plus one, so we can say two plus two or three plus two, they can come together so they can apply to do this bilateral type of collaborations. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, other questions? Yeah, please. Yeah. Dr. Togaduk. Uh, dear Professor Mandal, thank you very much for this lecture. We already discussed when I was in Turkey many aspects of uh, research and innovation ecosystem in Turkey. But I think for the attendees of this lecture will be of big interest to hear from you how the industry and private sector in general is supported to participate in research, innovation and technology transfer in Turkey, which mechanisms are applied because I think that uh, we in Moldova do not have enough support for the private sector to be involved in research. That's why they are less interested in this area and we need to increase their interest in research and technology transfer. And your experience will be of a great importance. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, I mean, uh, during the, as, as you said during your visit, we have been discussed on this issue. Um, 
I mean, I mean, Turkey is also experiencing. I mean, it is really challenging to include uh, uh, uh, to include uh, uh, I mean, companies into the system. Uh, and also, you, it is for the academicians, for the research institute, universities, is not an easy. So therefore, we need to interface. So, so Turkey is. Uh, I mean, if we say it is improving, not successful, but it is improving, uh, in a, by means of the interfaces. So interfaces, technology transfer offices. So these are really. I mean, we are giving a funding for them, not doing the projects, doing the, this service. So a service between uh, collaboration between university and industry. And our, uh, I mean, uh, funding mechanism is working on the performance based. So how many uh, is based on the how many uh, I mean industry and university bring together? Then we are giving the I mean credit for them. So so the role of I mean when we also try to learn what the, I mean develop um, I mean ecosystems is doing. We have been all learned that. So the importance, especially during the transition. Moldova is a transition, Turkey is a transition, so it is very difficult to, I mean, encourage industry by itself, and it is very difficult to give a role to university to go to the industry. So there should be a kind of an interfaces, and this interface should do the job, I mean, between university and industry. And also in the early stage, so to the interface has the there should be role, and also a kind of an expense is going to be spent by the companies. In Turkey, we are paying up 75% of the R&D project expenditure uh, by Kubital. So, and by we are putting a condition that they should work with the university, otherwise they can get only 40%. So if they are working with the university, 75%. Uh, so, I mean, there is, uh, should be a win-win-win situation. But, uh, I mean, in summary again, and for regarding to your question, so give role to the interfaces rather than only universities and only the companies. Thank you very much. And I want also to express our interest to participate in the networks that you mentioned, uh, the networks that uh, were uh, regarding the Green Deal, finding partners, and there is the upcoming call on antimicrobial resistance and I think there will be also networks for finding partners and uh, Moldovan scientists are involved in research regarding this uh, antimicrobial resistance so we will be very interested to participate in these networks for finding partners. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well. Thank you so much for uh, your presentation and uh, uh, answers to our questions. And uh, I would uh, like to ask if uh, somebody, anybody would like to... Yes, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, Professor Tegignano, I am Professor Gropa. If it's possible, I have a question. Yeah, please. Professor uh, Dear Professor Hazan Mandal, thank you very much for your very interesting presentation. And uh, for me and for my colleagues, uh, all the great events to visit Turkey and uh, to be part of a delegation that visit uh, to be talk. Also, thank you very much for this comprehensive presentation. And uh, in the uh, in, uh, process of uh, continuum of our discussing, I, I want to inform you that our medical State University of uh, Medicine and Pharmacy now uh, have an uh, important strategy to organize the regional center of ICGB in uh, Moldova. And in this uh, two important uh, project, I want to, to, to invite the Turkish part to support and to be a part of the joint project uh, in, in uh, in Moldova, because in our region it's too important to develop um, this uh, strategy and it's uh, too important to, to have the Turkish experience in uh, this field of activity. Uh, uh, you have same good collaboration with uh, same university from Turkish, but the Tubitak support will be uh, one of the strategic uh, important direction of these activities. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Professor. Uh
sector. So I mean, I am uh, also been I mean uh, following the I mean very carefully with Professor Yusuf Ersko with your partner. Uh, so I mean, I will do my best. I mean, at least from my um, I mean from Turkey side, and also keeping good uh, close contact with uh, your your partner in Turkey with uh, Yusuf Ersko that uh, and what we can do further. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very much. Any other uh, comments? No. Uh, the time uh, is 11. So, uh, uh, dear President uh, Mandal, thanks a lot for your uh, presentation. I would like also to thank uh, all uh, uh, those experts that contributed to the organization of uh, this public lecture especially our colleagues from the uh, Moldovan Embassy uh, in Turkey, uh, to our uh, ambassador uh, and uh, uh, his colleagues. And uh, so, uh, dear Professor Mandal, let uh, them uh, identify and uh, fix uh, the, the time uh, for, for uh, uh, presentation from our side, and of course, let keep in touch and uh, to do our best to push the collaboration between researchers from the Republic of Moldova and Turkey for the benefit of our societies. Thank you and have a nice day. Keep healthy. Bye Thank bye. You. So thank you very much, uh, and I all thank I mean to you, to general director, and also especially the ambassador to brought us together. So I mean, as uh, my uh, as a as a president of Tibita, I will definitely follow uh, closely and carefully our uh, collaboration should continue fruitfully and successfully. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye.